According to latest reports, three more Rafale fighter jets are expected to arrive today from France, that will complete the first squadron at the Ambala Air Base, and the remaining two fighters will form the second squadron at Hasimara Air Base in West Bengal. South Bloc officials have said, that the Indian Navy is eyeing to lease Rafale maritime fighters for its indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, and this development comes at a time when the Indian Navy has already cut down the number of carrier-born fighters from 57 units to around 36 units. They also said, that the leasing process allows the Indian Armed Forces to train on a platform that it plans to acquire and it also shortens the acquisition process which usually requires acceptance of necessity request for information request for proposal, and clearances from Defence Acquisition Council Finance Ministry and finally the Cabinet Committee on Security. They also said, that the Indian Air Force is also leasing one Airbus A330 mid-air refueler from France, while five more refuelers will be procured through the proper acquisition process. They also said, that the leasing of two Predator drones from US allows India to train and be prepared to induct 30 more drones in the three armed services. In a significant development, Hindustan Aeronautics and Rolls-Royce have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to establish packaging installation marketing and services support for Rolls-Royce's MT-30 marine engines in India, which is the world's most power-dense best-in-class naval gas turbine engines, which powers the USS Freedom, Zumwalt-class destroyers, Royal Navy's two new aircraft carriers and Type 26 frigates. South Korea's Daegu-class frigates, Japanese Navy's Mogami-class frigates, Australian Navy's Hunter-class frigates and the Canadian Navy's Surface Combatant Project, and has the potential to provide next-generation capabilities to the Indian Navy's future fleet of warships. The British government has been actively lobbying to power the Indian Navy's second indigenous aircraft carrier with a customized MT-30 engine variant. During the India-UK Virtual Summit 2021, Prime Minister Modi and his British counterpart Boris Johnson have announced to expand bilateral defence cooperation through technology collaboration in developing combat aircraft and complex defence systems. A 10-year roadmap was also unveiled at the summit, that will determine how the UK can support India's Tejas Mark II programme, and the two leaders also welcomed the finalisation of the new logistics memorandum of understanding that will help to increase maritime cooperation. More India-UK collaborations will be achieved in delivering next-generation defence and security capabilities through co-development and co-production. The DRDO and other Indian defence companies have to carry multiple summer winter and high altitude trial of defence platforms for several months, to test their effectiveness under different environmental conditions to increase its reliability, and while it is a time-consuming process, it also requires the defence platform to be transported to different parts of the country for a specific weather condition and altitude. The DRDO will soon get a climatic testing facility, that will be capable to simulate any weather conditions and temperature ranging from minus 54 degrees Celsius to 74 degrees Celsius, and this facility will be used for checking the functioning of every system like electronics hydraulics batteries on board computers and various sensors at varying temperatures. An Argentinian news website has reported, that China intends to close an agreement for the supply of 12 JF-17 Block III fighter jets, and a Chinese delegation has arrived in Argentina for this purpose. The Chinese delegation will also visit an Argentine aircraft manufacturer, which might be involved in a potential assembly of the fighters, and this proposed sale will make Argentina the fourth operator of the JF-17. Thank <laughs> you.